you need like a hundred thousand or something subscribers to start making money. I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I'm. I have 38 right now. I'm getting there. Anyways, buy a new vehicle. <clears throat> Some of the uh, terms that they throw around is um, right. The MSRP, manufacturer's suggested retail price. Um, so don't be too scared when you see that. That's just basically the price that the, like let's say uh, Toyota makes a car. They're like, this is what we suggest you should sell it for. But the dealers can decide what they want to do at the end of the day. Uh, all new vehicles purchased in Manitoba, right? So when it comes to new vehicles, they have to pay TST and GST. And so the total is 12%. No questions about that. All new vehicles in Manitoba are subject to air tax and tire tax. Okay. And the air is for the air conditioner and the tire, you will see in a bit, it goes towards funding the program to recycle old tires. Okay. Um, so some definitions, oops, definitions is has a typo there, but anyways. Uh, definition and in terms standard equipment is basic equipment that comes with the vehicle. Right? Comes with it. Um, optional equipment is extras. You can add for a fee right, if you want like a fancy entertainment package the chrome package the navigation system whatever a lot of it is basic these days but they always give you the options to, to add more uh, then you you want to talk about warranties it's a plan that covers major repairs Okay, but not regular maintenance. 4A, specified time. Or mileage. Um, I know that mileage refers to the distance you drove. Even though we use kilometers in Canada, we still refer to it as mileage. So sometimes you will see a warranty that says five years or 100,000 kilometers. Okay. So there's a limit either way. So let's say you don't drive a whole lot. You will ne you're not get to this number until it's like the car is like 10 years old. They cover themselves by just saying, well, five years have gone by, you're done, right? So whichever one comes first, um, that's usually what happens. Freight is the cost of transporting the vehicle from the manufacturer to the dealer. So I'm sure you've seen those uh, trucks, right? The semis with all the cars on the trailers. You wish you could. You, you, you pick the one you would want, right? Um, PDI, let me zoom in a little bit more. Some of you are squinting then. <clears throat> PDI stands for pre-delivery inspection. Anybody ever heard of PDI? You seen it? You might see it now on, on an ad, it was like plus PDI and freight. So I guess before they leave the manufacturer, before they leave, somebody's like inspecting and making sure everything works before it's shipped out. Air tax, there's a hundred dollar fee, right? It's a flat, in Manitoba at least, it's a hundred dollar fee that the government of Canada applies to all vehicles with air conditioning only applies to new vehicles so that's not paid again afterwards maybe it's worth mentioning that this is a federal tax so it's like a fe 
federal government, not just the provincial. So I'm guessing that's a hundred dollars flat throughout the country. <coughs> I will have to say that we are only sticking with Manitoba. We're not going outside the province with when it comes to taxing because each province has slightly different rules. Tire tax, provincial fee applies to any vehicle. Uh, and it is to fund, here it is, to fund the nationwide tire recycling program. It usually costs $4 per tire. So you know how they shred it up and sometimes they use it for, for playgrounds, they make mats out of the old tires, all kinds of, uh, even flower pots. So to fund that program, they, that's where, what you pay that for. It's a provincial tax. Okay, trade-in. Most car dealership will take your used vehicle and subtract, and this is important, before adding taxes. That's very important for you to remember. It's value from the purchase price of the car. Depreciation amount. It's the amount by which an item decreases in value. Residual value or depreciated value. That's the value that remains. The value, the original, sorry, I should probably not put the original in there. Hold on. The value of the car that remains. Okay. Um, maybe I should say that this is based on MSRP. MSRP. Let's look at some formulas here. And these formulas, I would say probably 80% of the formulas that you see are like I just made them up because students want formulas. Um, and so they're not on a formula sheet. So this is the first one here that I need you to have on your study sheet. So I'm actually going to say that. I'm going to just make sure you highlight this whole thing. My letter is dying. And before, before you go ahead and just copy this down blindly, this formula, right? You need to understand that the formulas are there in the event of. So let's say you come across a question that it, they mentioned the base price because, okay, there's the sticker price, right? Sticker price is important to know. And you technically need to add up all these things here. And so pay attention to this part, right? Like, let's say the question does not mention AC tax, tire tax, or even that there's transportation. It just goes like this. I'm just going to block that off. And so then all you, all you do is like, well, that is my sticker price right now, the base and the options, right? They don't mention all the other stuff. Maybe it doesn't mention anything at all, just like that this is the base price of the car. Then that is your sticker price. Okay, guys? So you got to kind of adapt to that scenario. Once you have determined the sticker price, watch this. Then that's what goes in here. Okay, once you've determined the sticker price of the car, which could be all any or all of these components here, to figure out the total cost of the new car after tax, you would go sticker minus the trade-in. And then you multiply it by 1.12. These are this is where you add the taxes, correct? And what do brackets stand for? It means you need to do that first, right? Brackets, like you would have to subtract here first, then multiply by 1.12. But what I mean, well, I'll, 
maybe I'll show you just real quick because then it sticks. So let's say your car is worth 5,000 and you have a thousand dollar trade in, like they take a thousand dollar for your old, old beater, right? And then you're like, okay, now I'm just gonna go times 1.12. This is gonna give you the wrong answer because you did not use brackets. It actually only added the taxes to the thousand here. So what you want, the way I would recommend you do this is just go 5,000 minus a thousand Right, get your 4,000, that's what you're gonna get taxed on and then multiply that by 1.12. That's gonna give you the right answer. So just make sure you watch out for these brackets here, okay? Go sticker minus the trade-in. If there is no trade-in, guys, then just omit it, right? And you're paying for the entire vehicle. Go ahead. Uh, watch this. This is the total taxes paid only. Right? Total taxes. You basically copy paste that formula from before, but notice what changes here. Instead of 1.12, this turns into 0 0.12. So that's the difference between the price of the car, including taxes and taxes only, because the province has done both to us, okay? They've asked for what are the taxes only or what is the entire cost after taxes, okay. So let's put this, uh, let's put this to practice. Let's do an example together. Let's go to page two. There you go. Brianna lives in Swan River. She plans to buy a new car. You should read that and be like, oh, we're up to something there. New car, or new car territory is not used, okay? I'm watching, right? The base price is 18, the base price is 18,455. She made uh, this list of extra charges she has to pay. The dealership has uh, offered to take her old vehicle as a trade-in. Sometimes there are tables, sometimes the province does not have tables, so you have to be comfortable with both. In this case, I organized it in a table. They could have just mentioned it all in the sentence. Okay. So here we go. Uh, it's asking us to determine the sticker price. And for the sticker, we are asked to Go base plus options plus, I need to look at my formula here real quick, base plus options, AC, tire, I'm just going to go F and PDI. I don't require you to write out the formula every time, but this time I will just do it for, for this one um, instance here. So what do we have? Because you will look on your study sheet and be like, oh yeah, sticker, this is what, okay, this is my formula, okay, I got it. What do I, what is mentioned here? The base price is mentioned, correct? This could also be the MSRP, by the way. So we'll go 18,455 plus my options. Let's go over here and just do the options over here. And by options, it would be the extended warranty, the security package, entertainment. So all of these things would be considered options. So let's just make a bracket here on the side. We call this options. If you can, I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna write down options here. And let's add that up real quick. 1489 plus 1250. Plus 750. That's 3489. That way you know where that number is coming from. And I will highlight afterwards, okay? I will kind of 
match this 3489. That's what I call options. Is there an AC tax? It's right there, 100 bucks, right? It's mentioned. Tire tax, $20. Okay. Freight and PDI, 400 bucks. Just add it up. And there you have it. We're almost there. Now you just hope you won't make a mistake, right? So I'm just going to highlight the 3489 like this and maybe just circle this whole thing here. So anything that looks like an option, something that you can add later on, slap it on. That's your options, right? And so here we go. Let's just add it up. 18455. And the best way to stay awake in my class is to have your calculator. Sometimes you're too busy writing stuff down. I get it. But try to follow along, right? So 22464. If you had Mr. Isfel before, he does not like this, right? He would say, no, no, no. I got to have zero, zero behind it, right? So let's make him happy and just do it. There you go. Even though it's okay not to have it in this case. Because there are no cents, the province is okay. So that's our sticker price. That is basically uh, what we need now to move forward. So let's say I didn't ask you for the sticker price. That would have been your first step towards finding out what, the, what it will cost after taxes. Okay, let's keep going. What is the total purchase price after tax? Keyword, after tax. So we want the total purchase price after tax. So we'll go ahead and do that. I call this formula new. I think we all know what we're talking about. I'm looking at the formula right now. It says to take the sticker, take away the trade, and then multiplying that answer by 1.12. So here we go, 22.464 minus, is there a trade in? It's right here. It's, I'm gonna circle that and just, bring that into my formula like that. So I'm going to take away 6,125 and tax it after all, okay? <clears throat> so here we go, 22,464 minus 6,125, hit equals or put brackets and whatever you um, because I'm, I feel like it's probably good to just show, right? Sixteen three three nine, and then multiply that by one point twelve. So here we go, eighteen thousand two ninety nine sixty eight. And that's the number I'm going to circle. Not too bad, right? So far. All right, calculate the taxes only for Brianna's purchase. So there's a couple of th ways you can do that, but um, we're going to go with uh, taxes only. In essence, it's sticker. It's basically copy paste the uh, copy paste what we did before, but we're going to go times. I'm going to use a different color for that. 0 0.12, right? Not 1.12. So we're going to go 22464 minus 6125 
multiply that by 0 0.12. I'm going a little faster because you already have these numbers. And here we go. Type that in times 0 0.12, 1960 and 68 cents. Um, I will add a, quest, um, a question here, so if you could cut this here and like this, just make a little section there. We're going to call this D. And uh, the reason I do these questions is because sometimes I think about what the province has done before, and I just want to throw in the curveball here. What is the total cost What is the total cost of purchasing the new vehicle Emphasis on the total cost here How much did it really cost this to Brianna? What was the total cost? If you think about it, I don't have a formula for this, but I'm just gonna tell you that it's the it's the 18,299.68. That's what you what she paid the dealership after the trade-in. So we're just gonna have to add the trade-in to this. Because really, right, she gave up her old car and she paid this. So the total cost here, if it ever asks uh, something like that, um, that's what they're referring to. That includes the trade-in. Because you can't say, oh, it only cost me 18000 right? Really, at the end of the day, this is how much it costs her, right? The total cost. And I would probably, on a, on a test, and even the problems, I can see them saying, including the trade-in, right? Being specific there. Go ahead. All right. Um, you try page three and that'll be it for today so whatever you don't get done today is going to be homework let me just see here so if you go to page three at the top of three just write down page three and page nine so just two pages. It seems like a lot, but it's actually a full question per page, right? And I'll post those keys in a bit.